Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are going to discuss about Amiodron. So we all know Amiodron is an antiarrhythmic drug and which it is mainly a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug and it is used in supraventricular and ventricular arrhythmias. But Amiodron is having action on all the classes of antiarrhythmic like it is having action on the sodium channels, the potassium channels, uh, it is having action on the uh, it is having a beta blocker action and also in the calcium channel. So in the class 1, it uh, as it has, it is having a class 1 action, it can inhibit the sodium channel. It is Since it is having a class 2 action, it, is act, it acts, like, act, acts like a beta blocker. Since it is having a class 3 action, it is having a potassium channel inhibitor action. And since it is having a class 4 action, it, is a calcium, it acts as a calcium channel blocker also. And we all know, uh, but it is mainly, Amiodron is mainly known as a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug. Uh, and we all know that class 3 antiarrhythmic drug is having a QTC prolongation action. That is not there, that is not much seen in Amiodron, so which is an advantage. So, that, uh, so Amiodron cannot precipitate an arrhythmia, it acts as an antiarrhythmic drug. And uh, there, it is available as IV and oral and oral amiodron is mainly having class 1, 2 and 4 actions. And IV amiodron if we are giving it increases the action potential duration of the atrial and ventricular myocardium. Along with that it will incre increase the refractory period and also it will reduce the heart rate also since it is having a beta blocker action. And ECG when we are taking uh, since it is having a calcium channel and beta blocker action we can see that the sinus rate will reduce then it will slightly prolong the uh, PR uh, interval and AV nodal refractory period also and rarely it will uh, prolong the QRS and uh, widen the QRS and the QTC that is very rare and Amiodron as I told it is available as IV and oral preparations and IV it is available as an ampule each ampule will contain 3 ml and total in an ampule there will be 150 mg so 1 ml will contain 50 mg of Amiodron and uh, now we will come to the uses of Amiodron. So Amiodron is used in uh, shockable rhythms after giving shocks in cardiac arrest, in, after, in cardiac arrest, in um, uh, pulseless VT and VF. After the third and the fifth shock, we will be giving Amiodron in the dose of 300 mg after the uh, third shock and 150 mg after the fifth shock. Then we will be using in case of arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, atrial tachycardia and uh, as a second line agent in SVTs also. So uh, in a patient with uh, arrhythmias that is a, a patient with a perfusing rhythm, uh, we will be giving a loading dose of 150 mg amiodron. That means we will be giving one ampule of amiodron will be given which is added, this one ampule will be added into uh, 47 ml of D5 water and it is given over 10 to 15 minutes. We will not be giving it directly, we will be adding with 47 ml D5 water and then we will be giving it over 10 to 15 minutes. And that is about uh, loading dose. Then after that we will be starting an Amadron infusion which is, a, which is uh, a 24 hour infusion. So in order to start an infusion after the 150 mg bolus dose then we will have to give it in 1 mg per minute uh, infusion over the next 6 hours followed by 0.5 mg per minute infusion for the next 18 hours. So how will we prepare this infusion? So this infusion is prepared by adding 6 ampules of amiodron with, uh, with D5 water, 450 ml of D5 water. So 6 ampules means it will contain almost 900 mg. It is added to 450 ml of D5 water. So 1 ml of the uh, solution will contain 2 mg of amiodron. And as I told, the dose is 1 mg per minute for 6 hours. So, 1 mg per minute means uh, 60 mg per hour. So, that will come. Uh, so, I, I told 1 ml is equal to 2 mg. So, we can uh, take it. So, 60 mg per hour means it will be 30 ml per hour uh, we will be giving for 6 hours. Then followed by 0.5 mg per minute for 18 hours. So, 0.5 mg per minute means it is 30 mg per hour. So, that 30 mg per hour, uh, each mg contain, each ml contains 2 mg. So, we will have to give only 15 ml per hour. So, 30 mg per hour is 15 ml per hour for the next 18 hours. Then after this 24 hours of uh, amiodron infusion, we will be giving oral amiodron. Oral amiodron can be... Um, 
initially started as 200 to 400 mg per day and uh, if this patient is continuing to have arrhythmias we can increase the dose up to maximum of 1200 mg uh, in divided doses per day okay uh, that is the dose and one thing we have to notice the side effect of amedron is hypertension so if we are giving the initial 150 mg of amedron bolus that can cause hypertension so if a patient who is already hypotensive we can avoid the bolus dose and we can start the uh, infusion that 1 mg per minute infusion for 6 hours followed by 0.5 mg per minute infusion for the next 18 hours like that so we told amedron is used in um, cardiac arrest uh, after the third and the fifth shock and it is also used in uh, arrhythmias like AF, uh, atrial, fibril, uh, fibril, atrial flutter, atrial tachycardia then um, as a second line agent in SVT and uh, uh, in CVTS they are using it after the cardiac surgery to prevent post-operative AF and all. Now we will talk about the side effects of amedron. As I told, um, if we are giving a bolus dose, the main side effect is hypotension. Other than that, in patients who are using um, amedron uh, for a long period of time, they will be having some complications like chronic interstitial pneumonitis. And amedron is known to cause hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. It will cause hypothyroidism by inhibiting the T3 production and it will cause hyperthyroidism as it will ha it is having some toxic effects on the thyroid follicles. Then sometimes this uh, amedron can interact with patients who are on uh, who are already having AACDs. Then uh, it can cause um, hepatotoxicity and it can cause some corneal micro deposits and uh, optic neuropathy. These are the uh, chronic complications of the uh, amedron. So uh, we have discussed about the drug amedron. Uh, IV amedron is available as a vial, sorry, uh, an ampule. Each ampule will contain 3 ml, so total 150 mg. And we mainly, uh, it is having action on all the uh, antiarrhythmic uh, classes, it is having action. And it is used in cardiac arrest, uh, in a shockable cardiac arrest after the third and the fifth shock. And one more thing I forgot to uh, the th 300 mg and the 150 mg which we give for cardiac arrest is for adults and for children we will be giving it as 1 mg per kg bolus uh, and we can repeat it uh, uh, um, to a maximum of 3 doses in case of cardiac arrest in children uh, uh, in a shockable rhythm. Okay, uh, and uh, it, uh, so in cardiac arrest we will be using and in case of any atrial, uh, supraventricular, ventricular and atrial arrhythmias we will be using uh, amiodron. Thank you. Yeah. Came